Miss Golden Girl here. It is Sunday, July the 24th, 2022. And it's the fourth Sunday of the month of July. There's going to be five Sundays into in this month. So I decided to devote some time to some Sunday video recording storytelling to post to my YouTube channel. I started this channel in January as a mean to leave some stories behind to document my legacy. And what would my legacy be without God, without the triune God? I got to tell this story. I was raised in the church, starting with my grandmother, Mary D. Clay. And then when I came to live with my father, he knew that he needed to raise his children in the church. So our household rule was you had to go to Sunday school. And if you weren't able to make it to Sunday school that Sunday, well, you weren't able to make it to any other activities to that next Sunday when you got yourself to Sunday school. I like to say that um, I graduated from Sunday school in 1970. At the same time, I graduated from high school, my academic education, and then my Christian education. I love Sunday school because I loved God and I wanted to know more and more about him. So... I'm going to be sharing with you my passion for God, along with my passion for traveling. The last trip that's on my list, my bucket list, is when I get my heavenly wings and I fly away. This is a favorite poem of mine, Footprints. I purchased this Bible cover for my Bible, my Schofield Bible. And this poem has gotten me through some difficult times. I know that God's favor is upon my life, but it does not mean as I journeyed here on this pilgrim journey that I wasn't going to have some trials and tribulations. And I have, and I still do. But I give a lot of my substance, my resources, <laughs> my perseverance <laughs> to the Word of God, scriptures. My favorite Bible scriptures is found in Psalms 2023. Not Psalms 2023. <laughs> I'm thinking of the year, but Psalms 23. <laughs> the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. But I'm trying not to be too long here. So I want to close out with reading this poem. Footprints, my favorite poem. One night I dreamed a dream. I was walking along the beach with my Lord. Across the dark sky flashed scenes from my life. 
For each scene, I notice two sets of footprints in the sand, one belonging to me and one to my Lord. When the last scene of my life shot before me, I looked back at the footprints in the sand, and to my surprise, I noticed that many times along the path of my life, there was only one set of footprints. I realized that this was at the lowest and the saddest times of my life. This always bothered me, and I questioned the Lord about my dilemma. Lord, you told me when I decided to follow you that you would walk and talk with me all the way. But I am aware that during the most troublesome times of my life, there is only one set of footprints. I just don't understand why when I needed you most, you leave me. He whispered, my precious child, I love you and will never leave you. Never ever during your trials and testing, when you saw only one set of footprints, it was then that I carried you. I was six years old when my paternal grandmother, Mama D, told me when she had to return back to Tennessee and I had to remain in Michigan with my dad, that God would be with me all the time. I always remembered that. And in the deepest, darkest times in my life, I called upon the Lord. And he has always been there with me. I'm 71 years old now. He gave me the desires of my heart, three score and 10. So I started this YouTube channel so I could document my story, my passion for traveling. And now I want to include my passion for God. As you can see, my Bible cover is worn. I purchased this to protect <laughs> my Schofield Bible, but I had carried it around for a good while without a Bible cover. So as you can see, <laughs> it's worn also. But this is my Schofield Bible. I always like to write when I got my Bibles. As you can see, I presented myself with this Schofield Bible on April 29, 2006. Um, it was in commemoration of my first prophetic conference in Lansing, Michigan at the Tabernacle of David. Mm. Yes, it's a little broken down. I wonder which one of my children will take this Bible when I fly away from here to eternity. I have my dad's Bible. I have enough Bibles where they each can have one. My three children. We'll see, or you'll see. <laughs>